Hey y'all, so that was me when I first started walking again. Um, I'm taking really baby steps in that video because I was scared. When I first got my boot, I was scared to start walking, you guys. So I didn't actually start the weaning process until three days after I got my boot. So if you get your boot and you're nervous to walk and everything, it's normal because I was definitely there. Um, but do walk because that walking process is necessary. Um, but I just want to go into how this phase was for me. So when I received my boot, things actually started to look up. Um, I was very happy to not have to use a knee scooter to get around. I didn't have to use crutches. I um, was especially happy when it came to going up and down stairs because that was a whole lot easier to do in the boot. And I also was able to start working out again. It's great to start working out when you get into the boot instead of waiting till your Achilles is fully recovered because you can you have the time to strengthen different muscles that may have been weak before and so it's a great time to take advantage of that. And with that said, I do have the workout I did in the description box below so you can check that out. So my handicaps at this time was I was um, in the boot, of course, I also had four heel lifts in my boot so that my ankle could be at a slanted position inside the boot. And I was still using the shower stool when it came to uh, taking a shower. Um, and that was about it. Initially, when I first got the boot, I wasn't able to be in the boot full time. So that was a handicap for a while. I still had to alternate between the walking boot and the knee scooter but once I uh, progressed through my weaning schedule I was in the boot full time and I also want to add that there were times where I had to go back a couple days on the schedule because um, just of too much pain and stuff like that just wasn't feeling right so I would go back so if you have to go back it's part of the process and I'm sure my doctor even expected as much so don't feel bad and um, some tips for this phase is do not try to see what your foot can do outside of the boot. Don't try to see because your foot is at an angle inside the boot so it can't even get lay flat on the ground yet. So just keep that boot on and do sleep with the boot if they instruct you to do that. I was instructed to sleep with the boot. It's not fun. You know, if you're a clean freak, it's not clean it can be messy you know just thinking about your boot was outside taking it to your bed so to combat that thought I would put a pillowcase on my boot when I went to sleep and so the, you know that helps with from messing up my sheets and everything but that is my short synopsis of the boot phase me being in the boot if you have any questions please please leave them in the comments and I'll respond